Hey, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I'm back again for another wine review. Oh my gosh, I just love this season change. I don't know about you, but when it starts warming up outside, energy. <laughs> Man, I just love it. So as I said many times before in this new season, I like to transition my wines from full body wines to light and fruity and crisp and refreshing wines. Hopefully you do the same. This, which is why I go through now, and I may have some full body wines, you know, that I would uh, do a review on. But I'm going to try to do more in the the light to medium body style wines, both white and red. So now today's show. Oh, wait a minute! For those who are new, very, very, very simple reviews, and these are wines that you can find on the shelves of your liquor store, local liquor store, grocery store, even some wine shops. But very simple review. Thumbs up, recommend the wine. Three quarters, you know what? I would drink this at a party, I would take it to a party. Halfway, not so much for me. Ooh, but doesn't mean it won't work for you. You give it a try and then you can let us all know. Thumbs down, <clears throat> that's always an easy one. Whew, that's just not gonna make it. So now, today's show is gonna be very interesting because I've done quite a few reviews of these wines you know, across the board. Uh, even some of the wines that they're not known for, but people didn't realize that this particular winery is owned by this particular family of wines. And that is going to be Stella Rosa. All right, we all know Stella Rosa. Stella Rosa came in. In fact, Stella Rosa has been around for a long time. All of a sudden, you know, in the past two, three years, Stella Rosa just has been just like taking over the market when it comes to the the uh, off dry wines. But Stella Rosa Black, we all know that one. Stella Rosa Red, and you probably got a hint of it on the bottom. You know, non alcoholic wines. How many times have you? walk through your store and you saw these wines they do like a rosé and a red they're like all these nice colorful bottles they have like maybe four or five different uh, uh types of style or i should say types of wine i think it was rosé black peach and pink okay rosé and red okay so four now how many times have you walked up and down the shelf and just walked right past these wines i must confess so did i but I had the opportunity of representing these wines uh, over the course of the years and representing them at a, a store function over the weekend. And I'm like, okay, let's give them a try. Well, here's the thing. Stella Rosa wines, we all know. But we saw alcoholic, I mean non-alcoholic, no alcohol to these wines. What? Back it up. No alcohol in the wine? You know, strangely enough, you have some wines that are non-alcoholic that doesn't really taste like wine or just overly sweet or it's something just not right with it. But if you've had the Stella Rosa wines, the alcohol st style of wines, and compared to this, you know, like the Stella Rosa Black, it's still made the same with the same grapes as the uh, Stella Rosa Black with alcohol. Brachetto is the grape, you know, made for this red wine, <clears throat> red wine, off dry wine, still has the fizz. And then we're going to have the peach. You know, the peach is still a, a combination of peach and Moscato. All right, so it's, it's still the same, still got the fizz. However, there is no alcohol in these wines. So, without further ado, let's give them a try. You know, I enjoy having wines from the same winery. Uh oh, my hand's a little bit sleeper, slippery here. I enjoy having one, woo, there's that fizz. Enjoy having wines from the same winery so that I can taste across the board of the wines. So, we're going to pour them both, get a look at them. Then give them a taste. All right. So now, if you like red wines or have not been a fan of red wines because you're a off dry or sweet wine drink, but haven't found a red wine that you can enjoy, Stella Rose is a good line of wines to check out for that purpose, amongst many others out there. But definitely, you're going to find the Stella Rosa line of the reds and the whites or the fruit and and grape blends. They're going to be off dry across the board. With a little fit. So here we go. On my in my left hand, you can see the little bubbles there. This is going to be the brachetto. On my right hand is going to be the moscato and the peach. Now, on the nose, peach comes through. Ah, but you know what? If you drink a moscato, you can't get some kind of like honey peach melon notes to it, right? White peach. But it's all there. I mean, beautiful nose. 
Ah, and then the red. Ooh, man. You talk about dark berry fruit. Well, and we're going to go straight into raspberry, right? So for me, it came in first, you know, dark berry fruit, but then that raspberry nose just comes straight through, straight to the front. Now, it's all raspberry to me on the nose. I mean, that's a beautiful nose. Raspberry with subtle floral hints. Subtle, very subtle, all right? Mm, that's the red. Beautiful wines. Now, in this case, you know, I said many times that, you know, normally it's like white before red, dry before sweet, but sometimes you have to make exceptions. And here's one of those times where I make an exception. I know this is peach, all right? There is peach, real fruit, real peach fruit juice in here. In addition to the Moscato, it's going to be sweet, same as the red. However, because of the peach, I know it's going to probably overshadow the red. So I'm going to go with red. There's your wine tip. Sometimes you have to readjust the order of wines. Nothing's truly set in stone. All right. Ah, oh, that smells so nice. Mm. Wow. You know how I feel about wines that are off dry with a little fizz? Fun. No alcohol in this wine, but it tastes just like Stella Rosa Black. All right? But there's no alcohol, but it tastes just like it. I mean, very pleasant, very fun. Mm. I call it Sangria Ready. Wow, that's nice. Taste of raspberry. You won't get that alcohol thing. It's not over the top sweet, you know, a subtle, subtle tartness to it, but pleasant. Okay. Hmm. Nice, nice finish too. Wow, it's just a nice soft hints of fruit uh, on the finish. That's real nice. Now for the peach. Now, if you like peaches, you're gonna enjoy this. If you don't like peaches, you still may enjoy this, unless you just really, really don't like peaches. All right, but who doesn't like peaches? Now here we go. Moscato and peach. Mm. Now, I don't know about you. I like peaches. You know when you when you first bite into the peach, you know you get that crunch, you get that 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 gush of the, 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 the fruit coming through, and then all of a sudden the flavor of the peach. Boom, right here. It's just like I'm literally biting into the peach, fresh, a nice cold peach with a little extra bubbles. <laughs> so it makes it fun. Wow. Mm. Now, again, fun wines, a whole different category. I would not rate these wines based on being uh, compared to the alcohol wines. This is a whole different category, which, you know, I thought about, there's quite a few non-alcoholic wines in the market that I'm gonna start doing some review of those, because there's an audience out there that enjoy wines, would like to enjoy wines that have no alcohol. So look out for that. So now, let's get back to it. One more taste of them both. Let me see if it plays nice after the peach. And it does play nice after the peach. But it makes it a little more dry, a little more tangy, I should say. Not dry, but tangier. Mm. Now, I'll come back to the peach. You know, sangria ready, ready for both of them. I, I, I have this vision of cocktails, especially with the peach. So a lot you can do with it. Just great wines to have fun with. You know, uh, wow. So he was Wisconsin wine guy. I'm digging it. I'm enjoying it. Different category, completely different category, you know, of wines, you know, and I'm going to go with double thumbs up on, not double thumbs up, but a thumb up here and a thumb up there. So a thumb up for the black and a thumb up for the peach, you know, uh, they're just nice. They say 100% natural, 100% natural fruit. You know, you get the grape, you get the fruit. All natural, you know, they're just all around fun, delicious wines. Again, new category. Remember, alcohol wines, now non alcohol wines, new category. Thumbs up, up for each of these. I'm going to enjoy these, I'm going to dig them. It's a lot of fun. Enjoy your summer. Why shouldn't always be that serious? Why should it sometimes just be about fun? Fun. And if you have friends who want to partake in having that wine but without the alcohol, they go right here.
you know what? I wonder if they're vegan. Oh, oh where we go. So, your vegan friends, look on the back there, vegan and gluten-free, okay? So, triple bonus, made with grapes, made with real fruit, non-alcoholic, gluten-free, and vegan-friendly wines. Can't go wrong there. It's your Wisconsin wine guy saying, as always, let your palate be the guy in selecting your wines. Again, thumbs up, thumbs up for each of these. I'm going to enjoy this and see if I can create some cocktails outside of a sangria with the rib. Ciao!